Hey guys, it's Tanil from Payphone Milkshake and welcome back to my channel. I am working from home because um, we're still stuck in the middle of COVID-19 at the moment and I was having my lunch break and I thought I would jump on here very quickly to film a little project share of a square album I made. Not this one, um, but another one that I'll show you in a minute. And I thought we would turn it into a little bit of a craft with me as well because I still have to add dangle charms to it. So I will do that as part of this video. So um, I wanted to just show you guys this um, and I have done a video of this before. I can link that one below. But the reason why I'm showing this to you again is I just wanted to let you guys know how obsessed I am with making chunky square albums lately. So this one I made as part of a DT project for Sassy Scrappers in Australia. And I was so obsessed with making it that I have been making a few more. And the most recent one I made, which I'm going to show you today and decorate or add charms to, is this one here, which is a carousel mini square album, pretty much exactly the same size. Um, I didn't use the template, but kind of eyeballed it and it turned out a little bit, little bit bigger, as you can see, just slightly bigger than the um, Sweet Story version. And I really wanted to make a clear cover. And I usually, with my shaker pockets, use page protectors or Project Life pockets um, to make um, shaker pockets. But I just thought it would be way too flimsy to do that um, for an album cover. So what I thought of doing was to actually use some acetate as the sandwich piece in the cover. And it actually made the cover really sturdy. So I thought that was a brilliant idea and I think all my future um, shaker covers will be made like so. So two, two pieces of your page pocket protector with a, a thick piece of acetate sandwiched in the middle to give it a little bit more sturdiness. So that turned out brilliantly and I have made this album specifically for one of my gorgeous pen pals um, whom you guys probably can figure out who it is because I received the most stunning carousel carousel mail from her. We agreed to do a carousel swap and I'm in the crux of finishing my carousel return swap to her and this album is one of them. So my lovely, you're probably watching and I'm probably ruining the, ruining the surprise, but I promise you that once you actually have this in your hands, you will love it <laughs> regardless of this little preview video. So um, I got some, I recently did a uh, Cartwright sequence haul, but I didn't film a video. I just bought a whole bunch of sequins. So I picked some of my favorite sequins from my collection and added it to the cover, which I thought coordinated really well with Carousel. And um, that's pretty much it. I added also a piece of vinyl in the middle, a clear pink vinyl, which I've been obsessed with lately. Plus I popped a chipboard in the cover and I just think it turned out really fun and cute, that one. So let me take you through the album. So the front is a clear shaker pocket, but the back is actually using one of my favorite pattern paper from Carousel. Um, and I've done some stitching all around it as well as I do with all my square albums. And this is another ring, like a double ring binder album. And I think that's pretty much my way forward with albums from now on. I love making ring albums. I think they're very effective and reasonably easy to make because I find it very fiddly trying to make accordion spines the ones that hold your pages together i've tried it before but i'm not very good at it so i think from now on i'm just going to stick with ring binders for my album so i really like the two-tone like solid back and the shaker front love how that turned out so um gonna definitely be making more like that then i added a little um clasp if you like or a little sort of fastener so out of, I just fashioned it out of some of my favorite pink vinyl and stuck um, a Velcro dot there to hold it together. So I didn't decorate the inside of that cover because I really want her to be able to enjoy the clear shaker window since there is a little bit of decoration happening on the front there. The first page is just a cutout from the 12 by 12 carousel cut apart sheet. Um, and I've double sided that with another cut apart to keep 
to make sure that that's nice and sturdy. Um, now I am running really low on my carousel chipboards. I think I only have two chipboards left and of course I don't ever want to like use them up if I'm down to my last two. So I've decided to use chipboards from Confetti to decorate this album and I don't have a problem with it. I think carousel and a confetti actually go really well together. And I also hope my pen pal doesn't mind that I used confetti because I've got a few sheets of those confetti chipboards left. And I just think the colors just work really well together. The gold, the pinks, the mints, everything just coordinates really well with carousel. So um, I've kept most of the decoration and embellishing in here fairly simple just so that it's not too chunky. Um, and it also meant that I can add more pages with less chunkiness. Whereas if I went really chunky, then I can only fit four or five pages in this album. So that's the approach I went with. Lots of pink stitching throughout this album with my favorite hot pink thread. Next page is a sequence shaker. And I sewed on my favorite chunky glitter PVC onto this. And just a very simple chipboard on that. I might actually look in my stash and see if I can add a little statement because I think that's missing some words on that just to make that really pop. And this sequence mix was actually gifted from one of my pen pals. I don't remember who. It may have been... I really don't remember. Maybe Maddie? Could have been Maddie actually who gave me that sequence mix which I've kept and reused. Um, the 1234 is from Confetti, and I just love the colours on that cut apart from Carousel. The yellow and the pink stitching works so magically together. Love this very simple layout. Backed that onto another piece of cut apart just to give it a little bit more structure. Then I made this star shaker and you guys would have seen a Laura by Laura album that I shared with you guys recently on Instagram and um, I thought I'd make another one because I think it just turned out so cute and I've used a delicious sequence mix that was gifted to me from Stephanie and I also added some sprinkles to that mix as well and I'm quite loving the zigzag stitching on the star shakers so I think I'll keep that design up as well so I love how we've broken this album up with um, some different shapes as well with that star then I made a little um, folder just a little folio page in here and the beautiful Stephanie who may or may not be the recipient of this album <laughs> nudge nudge she gave me this beautiful the beautiful um ticket carousel cut apart in her carousel swap to me and i just had to use it i just think it's so beautiful so four tickets used all up <coughs> excuse me and i've just decorated it with a combination of some stickers from carousel and some other puffy stickers i had in my collection I think they're beautiful. In fact, this puffy sticker is from my dear friend Alicia. I will show you which collection that is. It's this one here. It's a pebbles collection that Alicia gave me. And I thought that that flower just goes really well on the tickets. Did some stitching to put them together. And I just like how they turned out. Now my recipient can use them to decorate her own little projects. So very, very cute. And I think I had it actually like this so I'm just going to try and put that back where it belongs next page is another very simple one a polaroid cut apart with a polaroid chipboard from um, confetti so i really do think confetti and carousel go very very well together and i love the colors on that polaroid we've got another shaker in here this time i used a beautiful sequence mix that alicia sent me and added two little tickets unfortunately that one's now upside down which is like really niggling at me but <laughs> i don't know maybe i'll try and shake this around a bit and get that turned upside down whatever <laughs> um some zigzag stitching here and just a very simple but cool little um page that one then i have this one here and i snuck in a little poolside chipboard there <laughs> in case you haven't spotted it and just love the pinks and the golds on that one and then lastly I have a little vellum bag I love these vellum treat bags and pop that gorgeous gorgeous ice cream ephemera from carousel and she can leave it as is or she can open this up and use all the sequins inside 
So that's the full album, these gorgeous chipboard stars. I love them, but I only have about five because these were given to me by um, the beautiful Cheryl in a gorgeous, gorgeous embellishment box, which I have to show off again. So she um, sent me a swap recently with so many All Heart goodies. And she made me the most, pri like, I love this. She made me the most beautiful embellishment box. And these are the stars, which I only have, like, three left. And Cheryl, if I can, like, trouble you to get me a few more of these, I'd be happy to pay you for them. I just think they're stunning. They're the perfect size, perfect colors, just so, so pretty. Only if you're watching <laughs> and if you don't mind. Um, so just a little cut apart. This is happiness and the two stars was all I did to the front of that album. Now, as promised, I am going to add a few more charms to the side. I think it's just missing a couple of things. So I added the beautiful lollipop charm that I got from Daiso and this Laura by Laura tassel, which the pink matches perfectly with carousel. And I'm just going to reach into my little, um, box of charms to see if there's anything else that I want to add because I was thinking perhaps a little um pom-pom charm or um I don't think I want to add another lollipop just because we've got a big lollipop glittery lollipop there already um another tassel could work but I don't really want to use a paper tassel on this because I don't want it to get all like mangy Ice cream could work, but the color isn't quite right there. That's not actually a charm, so that won't work. What I could do as well at this point is actually add a little chain to it. Yeah, I think I'll decorate the chain, add a couple of things to my chain and then add the chain to the spine of the album. That way I can actually dangle a few more things off it. Add my little be mine, which I think is so, so 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 cute. I could add a little um tassel. Yes, I can. This one I will actually reserve for my all heart crafting, so I don't think that's quite the right charm for it. Um, I've got a little cotton candy, which will work quite well. Oops, what the heck? <laughs> I think I should do it. Why don't I just start playing with those four and see if I'm happy with how that turned out? But I think the green, that, that little green and that green just looks really cute together. So I think that'll work quite well. This, this part of the process is usually quite fiddly and I've wasted many, many minutes of your viewing time sometimes just fiddling with these little, these little O-rings, but um, kind of worthwhile in the end. The end result's always really pretty, so. Now these chains and all these little fixtures that you see, this hardware that I'm using, that all from AliExpress. They're inexpensive. This container is also from AliExpress. Um, you really don't need to invest a lot of money buying expensive hardware because um, they're all pretty much the same. I don't find that the quality varies too much between different um, brands or manufacturers so yeah just grab them off ali and there's heaps of stores i don't need to provide a link below guys because all you got to do is jump on ali and search d rings or o rings or whatever they call the alligator clasps it's all it's all on there they're kind of made for jewelry makers i think and crafters so heaps of options folks heaps and heaps of options And my only other advice is to get yourself some really good, strong um, pliers because it'll make your job a lot easier. I have some mini pliers, but I don't find them to be strong enough sometimes 
to get this process done efficiently. There's my pom pom. And you just get a lot more um, leverage when you're trying to um, close the clasps us, clasps up as you, you're seeing me do now. So I do have my little, my mini pliers handy just to show you the ones that I don't recommend getting. Um, and it might have its own purpose, but these are my mini tiny pliers and these are the ones that I just use. And they're really cute, but for the purpose of like closing, closing these rings up and pli like prying them apart, it doesn't quite cut the mustard for me i don't find them to be strong enough but they're good for you know picking things up you can use them to sort of pick things up or do other you know there'll be other purposes for them but if you can afford yourself the time to shop around try and get ones that are at least palm size like i've shown there or hand size the little fist size ones aren't quite strong enough for this so that's just my little piece of advice if you're on the you know, out in the market for some new pliers and get some good sturdy ones like that. And I just picked these up from my local $2 shop. They come in a pack of one. So I just bought two and I do not regret buying them. I think they were like four or five dollars each. So not too expensive. Um, and they're good heavyweight pliers. Go the next size up too if you want. <laughs> um, and then at this point, I just want to grab one of my larger rings. So let's just pop these back where they belong. And just pop them back into the my tray and grab a larger one not my largest larger one oops i didn't put that in right what is going on there we go All done guys so that is now I'm a lot happier with that now I thought that the lollipop and the tassel was really bare before but having an um, a chain hang off it actually adds a lot more fun and dimension to the spine and that's super cute that is super super cute so that is the finished square album mini square album I love how it turned out I'm going to make a lot more of these guys. I might not keep them square. I might make larger ones, might make landscape ones, but I've been obsessed with making albums lately. I think they're perfect. They're a great way to use up your collection. They're simple to make. It can take a while. This one took me about a night and a half to get all the sewing done, get the structure right, add my pages. Um, but once you've got the basic structure and you've got all your pages in there, the fun is in the decorating. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys at my next opportunity to film something fun for you. Bye guys.